Sorry, not for now. No, 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 we need to do a test. Volumes up or down? Those are dead ones. Hello, hello. Testing, testing. Are you getting volume through, Richard? We're good? Are you getting sound? Yeah, it's getting sound. I'll just wait for him to message me to make sure. Are we being heard? Loud and clear. Are we being quiet? Oh, no. Do we need some more? Get some from Dan. Yep, there we go. MCR, I'm waiting for your text to say sound is good.
Well, good afternoon, uh, everyone. Earlier today, the National Party Caucus has voted to unanimously uh, expel Jamie Lee Ross from our caucus. And that's because the 55 people who know about this the most and the best um, have decided that this is the right thing uh, to do. It's the strongest possible action uh, that the caucus can take and that's because we're united, we are strong in the interests of New Zealanders and we are not going to tolerate the kind of uh, appalling behaviour we've seen from Jamie Lee Ross uh, where he has put himself, himself above both caucus but also uh, New Zealanders. He'll clearly say anything and everything about his behaviour that the lies, the leaks, uh, and other matters as well are entirely unacceptable. I understand uh, he has made a number of allegations. Uh, they are baseless. Uh, in relation to the Electoral Act, uh, they are entirely false. And I invite Jamie Lee Ross to take those matters to the police, and I invite the police to investigate them fully and promptly because they have zero chance of success given that they are false. Um, I think we as a caucus are going to now draw a line under this. Jamie Lee Ross is no longer part of National uh, in terms of our caucus going forward and will be resolutely strong, united and focused on the things that matter to New Zealand. Jamie Lee Ross have on that tape, that audio recording with you? Uh, well, I don't know. I haven't heard it. Uh, but I urge him to take it to the police, to put up with that, and for the police to promptly and thoroughly investigate this, because something? it is baseless. It was a $100,000 donation from a Chinese businessman. He said that you didn't want this donation to be made public and you said that uh, in a telephone conversation. Uh, he is completely wrong. Um, this is now, and should be, a matter for the police, for him to put up and for them to thoroughly investigate it. It has zero chance of success because it's wrong. Why hasn't that donation been disclosed yet? I don't know. As I say, I, I think this is now a matter for Jamie Lee Ross to take the police to put up and for the police to investigate. Do you know the donation he's talking about? Donation. I'm not going to get into the details of this. This is now a matter for the police. And I hope they get on to it very quickly because I have done absolutely nothing wrong. Did you ask him to hide a $100,000 donation? As I've said, no. The tenor of everything he is saying in relation to myself and allegations of anything wrong or inappropriate is completely false. I'm not going to get into the details here. He needs to go to the police. He needs to go to the police. He needs to front up with that, and the police need to investigate this promptly and thoroughly. Because I tell you what, it has zero chance of success because it's wrong. Don't you need to clear this up? Don't you need to you were offered a donation from I'm I'm simply saying to you um, that everything Jamie Lee Ross has been saying, because we are talking about a guy who's lying, who's leaking, who's lashing out. Um, has been proven to, proven to be wrong. Uh, I have done absolutely nothing wrong, and that will declared? be shown to be the case. Has that donation been declared? I, I'm not certain about anything to do know, with these though, things. You should because you're so excited about a $100,000 donation. No, no, the, re the reality is um, I, I've not heard tapes. I, I don't know what Jamie Lee Ross is putting up. He should go to the police, he should front up with this, and they should thoroughly investigate this and promptly because here's the thing, uh, nothing will come of it in relation to me at least because I've done nothing wrong. Right. But, but you'd know, but you'd know about the donation because it's a $100,000 donation. You'd apparently invited this Chinese businessman to, uh, to your house. So you obviously know about this $100,000. I've answered questions in relation to all of this. I've done nothing wrong. It is now for Jamie Lee Ross to go to the police. Who was that in your party? Did you have any stage to do Kun Jang 
offer you a $100,000 donation for you or the party to your... But I've made really clear. Uh, I've answered the questions. This is now a matter, this is now a matter uh, for Jamie Lee Ross to take to the police, to the police to investigate thoroughly and promptly, because the reality is there will be zero coming from this, at least in relation to me, because I've done nothing wrong and I'll be cooperating with the police. Hamilton. 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 Because we're asking questions, we're putting these very serious allegations to you and you're not clarifying it. Well, I don't think that's true. I've been incredibly clear. Um, there are some allegations made by Jamie Lee Ross. They are baseless. I, I don't have a sense of them all, uh, but I know that I've done absolutely nothing wrong. I've complied with electoral laws at every single moment, uh, and nothing will come of this. So he should put up to the police. Uh, the police should then uh, investigate this thoroughly and promptly um, so that everyone in New Zealand knows uh, that there is nothing wrong that has happened in relation to B. I guarantee you that will be the outcome. So you are you throwing somebody else under happy. the bus? Uh, Greg Hamilton, are you... No, not at you, all. When you say in relation to me, that's not ruling out that it hasn't happened. You're saying it wasn't I, you. I've answered questions in relation to this. I've been very clear with you. What about you your party, though? Sorry, with respect. Did Jakun Jang offer you a donation of $100,000? I have answered the questions in relation to this. Well, I have, in fact. Did he or did he not? Are there other questions? Did, you, yes, did you ask not. Jamie Lee Ross to pick that donation up, which is what he alleges? I, I've, I've made really clear what the situation is here. Well, no, no, you haven't. Yes, no, I it's have. It's a very simple question. Did you ask Jamie Lee Ross to pick that donation up on your behalf? Here's a very simple answer. Jamie Lee Ross has made a bunch of allegations today about a bunch of things that are entirely baseless. Uh, he now needs to go to the police. That's where this should be. The police should thoroughly and promptly investigate it. It will result in nothing because I've done nothing Who's the wrong. Donor I'm not going to get into party donations. I'm not going to start and set a precedent in relation to something like that. It's just not going to happen. There is nothing wrong. So we have followed this? all of the rules here in, the, in terms of the National Party, and that will be shown. Was a $100,000 donation made to your electoral account uh, uh, this year? No. Did you fabricate claims of harassment to try and force out Jamie Ross? No. Was your leadership discussed in caucus? No. Did you, when, when he challenged you on the four people you said um, came forward with harassment allegations, did you indeed say, I can get 15? Uh, the, the thing is this, uh, we have taken today to caucus and had a frank discussion about a range of, and I think as I said yesterday, uh, a pattern of behaviour by Jamie Lee Ross. Um, there's serious matters there, but I'm not going to comment on those today. Can you facilitate a 100,000 donation from Jacun Zhang to the National Party? I've answered those questions. You haven't answered that question with respect. I, I think I have. Not? I think I have very clearly. I think it's really important, so actually. No, just to, just to clarify. I think this is very important. This is a matter where Jamie Lee Ross has made baseless, false, but serious allegations. He should take them to the police. He should do that immediately. The police should investigate thoroughly and promptly, and the outcome will be clear. And that is that I've done absolutely nothing. Well, he says, what Jamie Lee Ross says, he's not alone. He's not alone in being disgruntled about your leadership. Uh, do you? Can you see that there are more than him in the caucus that is dissatisfied? Fifty-five MPs today say he's wrong. 55 MPs today won't tolerate anything about Jamie Lee Ross. Uh, he is no longer part of our caucus. He is irrelevant as far as we're concerned. What are your net favourability ratings in your internal polling? Uh, no, I'm not going to all those things. Here's the deal. Uh, we are the most popularly supported party, and I have the unanimous support of my caucus. We have dealt with a lone wolf MP who uh, has leaked, lied, uh, made a number of wild allegations. We're now putting a line on that and moving on. What do you think the public is going to make of this? Jamie Lee Ross also raised some about um, complaints that were made to the deputy leader. When were you first made aware of them and how many people were involved? Look, I, I've been very, really clear about this since that. We have a number of serious matters that we've discussed at caucus today, a pattern of behaviour by Jamie Lee Ross, but I'm not going to go into any detail in relation to that. You're saying Jamie Lee Ross is going to make legal action against him? Uh, look, I think the reality of it, uh, if you look at uh, what he's done, there's um, arguably criminally vexatious and a range of things where I think um, 
he'd be very wise to get legal advice. Um, the reality is, though, uh, from my perspective, I'm here as leader of the National Party. We've expelled him from caucus, and I'm moving on. Will Mr Bridges, what do you think the public are going to make of this? I, I think they'll see it for what it is, and that is a lone wolf MP who has lied, leaked, and done some appalling things. Uh, and that the National Party is now going to move on uh, and try and put this behind them. But, why, but don't you think, though, that the public also has a right to know what your involvement is? And you cannot answer the questions to us, but what about the public? No, I think the public will understand, actually, uh, in relation to a leak report, I've put that out, uh, in relation to the basic reasons for Jamie Lee Ross being expelled from caucus by 55 MPs who know him best, uh, they understand that. But I think the public will also understand that there are some things that are, are private and within a caucus uh, room. Jamie Lee Ross behaviour, so will you be taking legal action against Jamie Lee Ross? Uh, look, uh, I'm here as leader of the National Party, uh, I'm drawing a line under Jamie Lee and moving on. I'm not wasting my That's time. Not. I'm not going to waste my time. On the issue is going away though. There's a by-election coming up. How are you going to deal with that? Well, that? That's absolutely right. I mean, clearly that is a direct consequence of what we have today, uh, which as an MP, uh, the caucuses unanimously decided should not be with us. Now, he's known that's coming uh, and he's made the decisions he has. We'll run a strong campaign in botany and we'll run to win. Is, is having a mental health problem embarrassing? Tomorrow. Is, is having a mental health problem? I addressed that very clearly um, a couple of weeks ago. I regretted those remarks. Jamie Ross is taking the matter to police tomorrow. Will you cooperate with him if necessary? Definitely. How embarrassing? Uh, not because I think people will see it for what it is, which is someone who's been expelled from caucus, who's lied, who's leaked, who's had appalling behaviour and now is lashing out uh, in this way. Um, they will be clear, and I can guarantee you they'll be clear at the end of this, that there is nothing here, that he is entirely wrong and that I'll be entirely vindicated. Well, you have a question for no, no, I think we'll be doing the question right here. Well, I think what's important is we finish this press conference with me, and then if you want to follow up with the other MPs, He's I think you do that. corrupt politician. What's your reaction to that? As I say, uh, this is a guy who's lying, who's leaking, uh, who's had appalling behaviour, and he's now lashing out. I reject that. Will you, give a, will you sign a privacy waiver so the results of that police investigation can be released to the public? Look, I haven't thought any of that through, uh, but let's be really clear. Uh, uh, this is a situation where I know I've done nothing wrong. Leaders of political parties are fundraised. Uh, we need money. Um, I don't know because he hasn't seen fit to tell me exactly what it is that Jamie Lee Ross is talking about, but there is zero chance of me having done anything illegal. I can guarantee you that. Jamie Lee Ross has made the National Party sound like a person of the House of Cards. Why do you think he's doing this? Why do you think he's painting this picture? I think that's fair comment in relation to Jamie Lee Ross a lone MP um, who we've learnt very recently has lied, leaked, had appalling behaviour, a pattern of conduct here that's not simply a leak report um, that makes clear that on the balance of probabilities he's the leaker, um, uh, the anonymous text and so on and so forth. It's much more than that. But that's not true for the National Party caucus. We are strong and united. Uh, and I, I think what I know is that uh, when Going forward, uh, there's leaks and so on. Um, they won't be from us, uh, they'll be from that gentleman. How are your favourability ratings within your person, uh, within your internal policy? Look, I'm not going to go into that. The reality is. Are they as bad um, as success? I'm not going to um, just uh, get into the, the very vast range of allegations that Jamie Lee Ross has made in relation to me, to colleagues and so on. What we know about Jamie Lee is um, he's lied, he's leaked um, and here's the deal. I, I think there'll be public polls in the near future. I think they'll show a national party uh, that is strong, uh, that is doing well and actually that New Zealanders know is focused on things that matter to them. And these allegations of harassment, he says this is a smear campaign by you and Paul Bennett against him. Is there any truth to that? The facts don't lie. Yes. Um, to the best of my ability, but let's be very clear. 
This is someone who um, has a many issues going on, as we've discussed in full. Um, he has now come here and said these things. Uh, he hasn't put them directly to me in any uh, way that I would understand exactly what he's saying. He should put up to the police, and the police should thoroughly and promptly investigate and vindicate me entirely. You said that you hey, thank you very much. You said that you would deny it. Have you taken any legal advice?